good day. I'm Okpaemi and I'm taking you through what's news today. Don't forget to subscribe to Business Day News at www.businessday.ng. Although there has been a crushing lead by the candidate of the All Progressive Grand Alliance, APGA, Charles Soludo, in the Anambra gubernatorial election, the battleground has been shifted to Ihiala local government area to decide the winner of the gubernatorial election. INEC had shifted the election to 10 a.m. today due to the non-arrival of election materials and irregularities. Election in the local government had earlier been extended to last Sunday, but was postponed by the commission to the new date. Africa-focused e-commerce platform, More for Africa, has suspended its operation in Nigeria, which might lead to the company's total shutdown due to the unstable foreign exchange regime in the country. For companies like More for Africa, the difference in value of Naira against the dollar is enormous as it directly impacts prices of goods and erodes return on investment. Nigerian Deposit Money Banks gave out the most credits worth 33.84 trillion Naira to the private sector in September 2021, driven by the loan policy of the CBN. This represents an increase of 32.81% compared to 25.48 trillion in September 2019 after the introduction of the loan rule, known as the loan to deposit ratio. The credit growth was driven by the LDR policy. King Selbera, the deputy governor of CBN, said the credit growth was driven by the LDR policy, the extension of regulatory forbearance, and other macroprudential measures. There have been reported cases of prolonged post congestion in the United States especially in key, key hubs such as Los Angeles, Long Beach, and New York, which handle 40% of all containers entering the country. With the congestion in the U.S. ports that trapped container carriers and thousands of containers, the cost of the fighting containers to Nigeria has increased dramatically. This has also begun to have high-cost implications for businesses in Nigeria. Nigerian shippers now wait a long time to secure containers to load their imports in the country of origin into Nigeria. For more details, please visit www.businessday.ng.